if you believe in Jesus and I believe in Jesus, we have two different Jesus don't ideas. Me. That don't really, you know, that don't make sense because there's only we one. You never know until we die. But the Bible tells us exactly who Jesus is. I don't want to hear all that Bible. What's going on YouTube today? I'm here with? Kendall. Kendall. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lovato. My name is Lovato. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I, broke my, I broke my elbow so I can't bend it up too high. So the question I have for you today is where do you think we go when we pass away? Heaven. Heaven. Depending on if you a good person or not. We already living in hell. Right. I feel like everybody, everybody of heaven it's different but everybody concept concept everybody concept of hell is the same fire burning pit type shit right but i believe if you die right but you're a bad person you come back to the think about it we live on this earth we got to live to pay we got to pay no i'm sorry i've been drinking a little bit we got to pay to live all this bullshit pain suffering what is nirvana nirvana is heaven right freedom from suffering that's literally what it means right yeah so when you die you're free you free of all that shit amen because see like why would you go to a burning pit if you just a human right you see what i'm saying so we feel as humans why would you feel fire yeah you're just a spirit you're just energy you're just pure energy you know what i'm saying you're just consciousness amen right so if you die and you're a bad person you come back to this bitch maybe as a lower life or maybe a cockroach maybe somebody done killed hitler or some shit whatever the case may be but if you're a good person you live by righteousness you try to you know what i'm saying then you go to nirvana that place of where everybody may think that is in their head whatever it is in your head that's where you go to okay. i don't know i i don't know but that's my concept of it or maybe it's a hypothesis appreciate you for putting my brother on amen god bless amen. you man god bless you bro thank you so i got a question bro so do we get to heaven through jesus christ I don't know. Okay. And 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 would you say if you passed away right now you would be going to heaven or or no? I like to think so. I like to think I'm a good person, but you know, if you a bad person as long as you know what you did type shit, you know, you got people that didn't kill people. You got people that didn't live life full of sin, but they, you know, they know that there's forgiveness in that. You know, they know what they did. They know that they did wrong. As long as they're not like, oh fuck this shit, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just depends, bro. I mean, the you know, the universe and the galaxy and all that shit, it's just a big, crazy... <laughs> it's just a thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people say that we live in the Matrix and shit like that. I don't know. Yeah. Is this a simulation? Right. Can I tell you something that can, like, honestly free you up, bro? Yeah, your name? True. Okay, so me personally, right? I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe that's the only way we can go to heaven, right? And so I heard you mentioning by doing good, right? So can I judge your goodness according to God's holy law really quick? If you want to. Okay, okay. Honest. So have you ever lied before? Of course. Same we with me. Have. We all have. have Let's see, that's one thing about it. Like, there is no such thing as truly good. Hitler had a family. Yeah. There's no such thing as truly good. There's no such thing as... Well, there's no such thing as pure good. There's no such thing it's pure evil. We all have that in us. Yes. Balance. Facts. Yin yang. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You could be a good person and then get done wrong and then do somebody else wrong and believe that it's right because you want revenge. Yeah. Or whatever the situation may be. Whatever it may perceive in your head. Mm -hmm. We all done did some type of shit that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's good because that's what Romans 6.23 says in the Bible. It says, for all have fallen short to the glory of God. So this is why I believe in Jesus Christ because like even me, I've lied, I've stolen, I've lusted after a female, I've, had a, I've committed adultery. I've done a lot of stuff had an abortion I used to be addicted to drugs all types of things right and so when I found Jesus Christ my entire life changed because what Jesus says is you don't have to do good or bad what you should do is put your faith into me because Jesus is the one who was righteous Jesus purposely came here on this earth and he never sinned he did that because he knew that we were already sinners he knew that we were in the flesh and we would sin till the day that we die so to be made in right standing with God he gave us his son which is what it said in John 3 16 right for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son mm. that for whoever believeth him would not perish. Mm. So Jesus didn't sin. He lived a righteous life mm. and he took a sacrificial death on the cross for you and I mm. so that once we truly put our faith into him, that's how we can be sinless. Mm. So a lot of people that are Christians
Christian and non-Christian think, I don't want to trust in Jesus because if I do, I have to do a lot of different things. But that's not what Jesus says. Well, I will say this. I believe in Jesus. I believe in God, but not in the way you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm not religious. Okay. More so spiritual. Yeah. But like, I believe in God. Don't get it wrong. Amen. I believe in Jesus and God, but I just, I don't necessarily believe in, the way I look at it, I don't believe in going to a church yeah. to seek God. Mm -hmm. I believe going outside. That's the longest thing that's been here. Trees, nature. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, that's my belief. Amen. Yeah. So, so you would say I'm religious, you think I'm religious or? I mean, you said it. I'm in a relationship with Christ because look where I'm at right now. I'm not in a church. I feel him right now. It's a relationship. He says where two or more are gathered, he's in the midst. So even right now, he's here with us. Like, I feel peace amongst all of this. In the Bible, God says, on heaven as it is in earth. This looks like hell, but it feels like heaven to me. Because it's like, if we look at these people the same way God looks at them, he looks at them with love. He, everybody's made in their image. Yeah, everybody may be getting drunk, getting high, doing what they love to do. But that's just voids that people don't understand yet, you know? So me... Avoid it. I'm even myself trying to feel but and, and that's cool you know we we all have our daily voice even me being a christian i have voice that sometimes pop up on me you know when i distrust when i distrust god and i trust myself for a few seconds i can get angry i can get upset i can want to smoke a blunt i can want to fornicate i don't do these things but it pops up you know i can look at a girl out here and be like yeah she's a baddie and that's me being honest so it's a relationship with christ it's not a religion a lot of i don't have a lighter when y'all got a lighter cameraman you got a lighter you don't damn that's a damn shame what's up man well that's all my time you know what i'm saying next episode we'll catch y'all hey, later man. hey man what's, what's your name one more time kendall kendall can i yes, pray sir. for you really quick brother what's up i can, I can pray for you really quick yes okay you good okay hey man god bless you bro damn <laughs> how, how old are you 29 29 yeah this is, i'm 23 bro type shit hey, man. hey i know you said you don't fully believe all the way in like jesus no you i do believe in god hey, just in a different way in a different way yeah. i want to i want to advise you to like seek out the bible of jesus because there's only one version of jesus there's not like different versions of him so like if you believe in jesus and i believe in jesus we have two different jesus no, ideas mm. that don't really you know that don't make sense because there's only we one never know until we die but the Bible tells us exactly who Jesus is. I don't is. want to hear all that Bible shit. But we never know until we die. That makes sense. God bless you. God bless you, bro. Yes, sir. You too. All right, you too. So that is the end of that video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm going to just keep doing this because YouTube is trying to delete my videos sometimes. I'm going to just start putting one video out at a time. So if you are loving this, um, just make sure you hit that like button if you are new. If you aren't new, hit the subscribe button also if you are new. My name is Lovato Arnie Jr. If you never heard of me, welcome to the channel, man. Make sure you guys are following my social medias at Lovato, L-A-V-A-A-D-O, so that you guys can get early access to these videos that sometimes don't drop on on YouTube. Um, I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The reason why you want to hit the like button, as I say in every single video, is because when you guys hit the like button and add a comment, you know, a true comment, it puts the video on the algorithm. And when the video gets put on the algorithm, if you guys check out the views, some of my videos are getting almost half of the amount of subscribers that I have, which is a good sign that you guys are hitting the like button. And that causes it to get on the algorithm and more people to hear about the gospel. The Bible says, he who has ears, let him hear. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. So we want people to hear the word of God. So like the video, if you want to support this ministry so that I can continue to travel, pay for tickets, pay for all these little expenses that always add up. I have the first link in the description. I take Cash App, PayPal, and Zelle. That would be awesomely appreciated. And I thank you all who have been giving, sowing seeds into this ministry. And um, yes, new music is out at Lovato Arnie Jr. Go check that out. Go stream it. Share it on your Instagram story, whatever song you like. And I'll be reposting them. Just tag my Instagram at Lovato, L-A-V-A-A-D-O. Let's continue to move the kingdom forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Watching his moves, I see how he trying to destroy me. Shiesty, feisty, so enticing. He trying to lure me. Uh.